At this point, I think it's really important to understand the style sheet and what it's doing. So I'm just going to navigate to that folder. Okay, so we've got our HTML templates and then the style sheet, which is the formatting for all of those templates. Now I'm just going to open that with Notepad so we can have a look at it. So starting at the top, just go down it. Here we've got the general formatting. Somebody's been nice enough to comment most of what's uh, going on here. So if you need to change something for all of your templates, it's worthwhile having a look in your style sheet and see if you can work it out. I'm just going to go through now and do a few pointers in there so um, you should be able to understand it a bit better. So here we've got the general formatting and you can see we've got um, font size, typeface, colours, etc. Here we've got um, dividing for a A4 page for if we wanted to print it. Um, so I'm just going to, first of all, just print my setup sheets um, and then make some changes and compare to what we had before. Uh, so I'm going to navigate to the folder where I've kept this, which is on my desktop. Setup sheet files, project sheets, print.html. It's going to open that up. And here is what we've created before um, our setup sheets, standard. Um, but as I go down, you can see we've got large gaps here. We've got gaps here and so on all the way down and this is due to um, the code here which says we want to break into A4 pages so if the customer only wants to view it in their browser and they have no intention to print it ever which is getting more and more common because it would be a waste of a lot of paper all the time then what we can do is go to our style sheet and then comment this out so we need um, forward slash and a star and um, they actually continue all the way until this end here so I can just cut that and pop it here to come out all of this section here so now I'm going to save that go back to my power mill we'll get rid of that and see if we can eliminate those large gaps that waste quite a bit of space in our setup sheets. I'm going to go straight to my print.html and open that up in my browser. If we scroll down now, we should be able to see that we've eliminated all of that wasted space. I haven't got any toolpath notes, so rather than leaving um, a large gap like it did previously it just butts up the next page straight away so that's ideal okay so continuing through my style sheet I'm going to scroll down you can see we've got um, the pages here currently it's been set for a a4 paper to be portrait if you wanted to change that to landscape which is a reasonably common request what we'd have to do is change these values around so we've got 21 by 29.7 I'm going to put 29.7 by 21 and then the next thing we have to do is just go down here and in table specific, we want to change the width to 25 centimeters. So now I'm going to save that. I'm going to pop that over here actually and be a bit neater. Go back to my power mill and regenerate my setup sheet. Okay, so open up print.html and now you can see it's changed from being 
portrait like so to landscape. We've still not got our page breaks. If we wanted to have that in, you just pop that straight back in. Go back to um, uh, Notepad, my style sheet. Here you can see we've got our colours uh, and our formatting for our table header. So uh, if I just pop this to one side, we've got table header background, which is this one here. So when we were typing it in, we'd have table header, start point, table data, and then the parameter that shows that value there. So the table header is this, the DDDD is this grey colour here. And then we've got all the padding, etc., for that. And then the table data, you can see it's not got a background colour. Uh, and, it, and it's got a, a border like so. Okay, and then we've got the table title, which is this one here. So here, someone's kindly commented and told us that this value here is Power Mill Blue. So, for example, if I wanted to change this, I've got a HTML code page. Um, I'm just on one that I found online. And then, for example, if I choose a colour, um, I can just copy and paste that in here. And then if I was going to be very correct about it, I would type my colour orange in there. And then I will say save. Go back to my power mill. Uh, I'm going to print that again. I'm just bring up as soon as it's done. I'm going to open up print.html. And you can see we've immediately you can see that we've got orange colour used instead of the power mill blue. So I've started personalising it a bit. Now we can change the size of these images if we want. If I go down um, here, we've got the information for the error message, um, formatting for browser controls, and then image stuff down here, which we've taken a little quick look at. Uh, the snapshot image here, I'm just going to change that to 60 and say save. I'm going to do the same thing again, it gets a little bit repetitive, regenerate my setup sheets, and when that's done we can see that our images have been enlarged like so. So that is a little bit about how to utilise your style sheet and feel free to have a play around and personalise yours at your will.